Big news, everybody. Jordan and I have officially invented time travel, which is an unbelievably amazing life-changing technology. But rather than prevent 2020 or avert disasters, why not play with Sony A-mount lenses, right? So much better. I'm filming today's episode with a Sony A7S III. Welcome back, Deep Your VTV viewers. Chris Nichols here. We've got a short video for you today where we're gonna, you know, enjoy the beautiful autumn colors, take some portraits of my daughter, just get out here because we have the brand new Sony LAEA5 adapter. Okay, so Jordan and I didn't build the time machine. I'm sorry, but this adapter does let us bring old A-mount lenses to the modern era on modern cameras. Now, of course, this is not the first of Sony's adapters, but it is the best of their adapters. We're gonna talk about what it changes and what it brings to the table. So where does the LAEA5 adapter fit? Well, before this, we had two full frame adapters that we would commonly use. Now the LAEA3 adapter was very simple, very compact. However, it did not support lenses that lacked a motor inside them to drive the optics. Basically think about older lenses that needed a screw drive autofocus mount to work. The LAEA3 would not drive those lenses. So then there came an LAEA4 adapter. Now the autofocus on this was pretty rough, even at the time when it came out, it had to use a semi-translucent mirror system with its own autofocus system, but it could drive those non-motor lenses. However, now we have the LAEA5, and this brings a lot to the table. First off, it's as compact as an LAEA3, and it does not use a semi-translucent mirror, so you're not losing light there. Now on top of that, the LAEA5 does have the classic screw drive autofocus motor built into it, which is amazing considering how compact it is. But it is important to understand that at this time currently, it only is supported on the Sony a7R4, which I'm using today, and the a6600. We might see other cameras support those older lenses in future. However, by far the most important thing is regardless of what you're using, on the modern cameras that support real-time tracking autofocus and eye detect autofocus, the LAEA5 works with that even on the old A-mount lenses. And that's really what I want to get out and test today. It'd be great if we could try every single A-mount lens in existence, but we only have two today. We've got the Zeiss 135mm 1.8 and the Zeiss 85mm 1.4. Both excellent telephotos. They've got thin depth of field, which will really help me see if the autofocus landing where I want it to. They're also great for portraits, so that'll be really good to test the eye detect autofocus. They do have motors in both these lenses, so with the LAEA5 adapter, they would work on any of the modern bodies. So there's some stuff I want to talk about here. I mean, on these two particular lenses, we've got older autofocusing motors. That's going to be quite commonplace for a lot of A-mount lenses out there. And they make classic SLR noises. And they're slow. I mean, from front to back, the focusing can take quite a long time. Now, Sony is saying that these lenses can keep up in, uh, in some cases, up to 11 frames per second on a lot of these bodies, continuous shooting. But I'm going to do a running test and just see what kind of results we get here with similar lenses. The other thing, of course, that you're going to hear about is video. Now, Sony's always been a little funny with video support, even on E-mount lenses. You know, no single point AF, just continuous autofocus. But a lot of new cameras do support real-time tracking for video. With these lenses, is on the adapter, I'm not getting any sort of focus. It's really just primarily gonna be of interest to photographers shooting stills or those that are willing to manually focus. Now with relatively stationary subjects, I was finding that the older A-mount lenses with adapter are doing a good job of finding the eye, tracking the eye properly, and with a little bit of movement back and forwards, the continuous autofocus is keeping up. But I did a very simple test. I didn't even push the cameras anywhere close to 10 or 11 frames per second, which is sort of the claimed maximum. I had it just on mid-speed shooting, and uh, Maddie's running towards the camera, no zigzags or anything, pretty straightforward. And frankly, you can see here the Sigma, E-mount native lens does a great job focusing even up close, but the A-mount 85 millimeter 1.4 Zeiss had a really hard time, especially as Maddie got closer. The autofocus couldn't keep up or it would just go way out. 
So let's just take a break here and keep this video in context. This is not about old glass versus new glass or can A mount on this adapter compete with modern lenses. That's not the point. That's not even the issue here, okay? The issue that's really amazing about this piece of equipment is that when Jordan and I played with the A99 II, we really thought this is the last time that we're gonna talk about A mount and you know that might really be the end of the whole system. And so this is an amazing gesture. I mean, people who own A mount lenses, but have maybe moved up to the new bodies can get the benefits of real-time tracking and eye detect AF. And you know, those things did work quite well today, even on the old lenses. Performance on these is drastically gonna vary based on what lenses you use, how old they are, if they have motors or not, and what body you put them on. But it is really nice to see that Sony's not forgetting about people who still are in the A-mount system. So who should buy this adapter? It really does make the older adapters obsolete, but I do feel that even if I own the older adapters, if I was getting a new full frame Sony Alpha body, it might be worth it just to get the new real-time tracking AF and eye autofocus benefits, plus with less limitations than I had on the older adapters. And if I didn't have any A-mount glass, this might still be a really awesome piece of kit to go with my Alpha camera because frankly, although modern mirrorless lenses have come a long way and it's not really any contest, there are some amazing A-mount lenses out there and you can get them for some really good prices on the used market. That could be a fun diversion to try with your new full frame cameras. As always though, thank you for joining us on this beautiful autumn day here in Calgary. Please check out our Instagram and Twitter feeds and do subscribe to the channel, we'd really appreciate that. Don't forget to go to deepreview.com. There's actually a lot of information on this adapter, more about technical specs and what it will exactly work with and not work with. So check that out. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. See you soon.